Hello YouTube. I watch a lot of uh, videos about multimeters on YouTube. Um, one of the things that comes up a lot is uh, getting good test probes. Um, and if you buy a used multimeter, uh, like I bought this one from eBay, um, they often don't come with, with the test probes that they originally shipped with. So you're left uh, on your own to find replacements. Now that's not too hard. Um, the Fluke ones, for example, are not that expensive, but uh, you can't get them at regular uh, electronics stores. You've got to go to a specialist uh, test equipment store. And by the time you pay for the additional shipping and everything, it ends up being, you know, half what you paid for the meter. So um, I wanted to give you another alternative there, and that is these Pomona 5519A uh, replacement test probes. Um, Digikey ships these, uh, Mauser carries them. Um, you can get them pretty much anywhere that uh, has a good component selection. Um, I didn't think of it myself uh, in the past years since I've been doing electronics. Uh, so I've been working with really crummy um, uh, leads that came with my uh, eBay multimeters and uh, some from Deal Extreme, and they're just garbage. So uh, once I found these on Mauser, I dropped some in with my parts order so I didn't pay any extra for shipping and uh, they're actually really nice so let's take a look at them okay so as I mentioned uh, these are cat 3 a thousand volts you can see there um, as far as the probes themselves they, they've got quite a nice feel to them the, the plastic is, is quite stiff but also uh, flexible so it, it feels nice in the hand it, it's a solid feeling it's not uh, bending around on you but it is flexible enough that uh, it doesn't feel cheap or, or like it's gonna break if you treat it wrong um, They've got some strain relief here just by uh, thinning out that plastic to make it nice and flexible. Uh, I think that should hold up pretty well. Um, the probes themselves are, are quite sharp. Um, they seem to be made from, from high quality metal. They're not flexible or anything like that. And the molding is also uh, quite high quality. You're not seeing a lot of a lot of heavy seams or anything like that. Um, so, so really uh, quite nicely constructed. Um, they've got this They've got a very nice uh, finger guard here, so you don't send your fingers uh, into your high voltage circuits while you're working on them, which is another thing that you don't see a lot on the cheap probes. Um, a high, a large um, surface area there. Um, the leads are, are very nice. Uh, silicone uh, insulated, they're very flexible. Um, just as good as any other uh, test lead I've worked with, including the Fluke. Um, leads there. Uh, if you get to the other end here, banana plugs, um, they're very, very strong feeling. They got a decent strain relief, could be a little better. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these, uh, this style, but um, they should hold up pretty well. I don't think this end of the, uh, of the test lead gets too much stress most of the time. And uh, they are quite high quality connectors themselves, so we'll take a look at that. One thing I wanted to mention that doesn't come up a lot uh, when talking about test probes is the quality of the banana plugs themselves. Um, so these are the cheapest um, probes that I've got and you, I hope you can see that uh, they're really just four leaves of metal. Um, they're kind of bent together with some space in between. Um, it doesn't provide a very consistent feel. Uh, when you plug them in and out, they uh, they do wear out fairly quickly. They get bent together and lose their springiness. Um, they're just uh, just really crummy. They don't uh, don't feel well, feel good, or last long. Um, so what I've got here is actually the internal part of the Pomona um, banana jack, which you can buy separately. I bought one here to make uh, some test leads out of. Um, and it, you can tell it's almost completely solid metal. Uh, when you pick it up, it's it's quite, pretty substantial, just this internal piece. Uh, it's basically solid metal, and what they've done is they've uh, added this extra piece. You can see that it spins around there um, out of the spring steel, and there's a little gap here um, that allows that to spring back and forth. So this provides a much more consistent feel. It should provide a lower resistance path um, out of the jack. It'll last way longer, much higher quality than the cheap ones. So another amusing thing that I saw uh, when I first pulled these out um, is right here, uh, replace men test probes, a little typo. Um, 
Now, that would normally be expected if these were coming from, from China or somewhere else in Asia that doesn't speak English. So I actually went to find out uh, where these were manufactured because it doesn't seem to say anywhere on the packaging. Um, but believe it or not, they're actually made in the USA, um, which is really quite surprising for, for what's uh, a pretty simple product that would normally be manufactured overseas. So, so quite impressive there. So if you're looking for some replacement leads for your cheap multimeter uh, that came with crummy ones or uh, perhaps you bought a used multimeter like I have um, that didn't come with any leads, uh, I highly recommend this, this Pomona 5519A uh, set. They're fairly inexpensive, about $15. You can just throw them in with your parts order and uh, they are really high quality. I would put them up there with the fluke, the basic fluke leads. They don't have the, uh, the fancy shrouds for a Cat 4 um, or any other fancy features, but uh, they do have a good strain relief here. Um, they're very feel very nice to use, uh, very well made. Um, so for 15 bucks thrown in with your parts order, it seemed like a good deal to me and I'm very happy with them.